These elegant mute swans are a popular attraction in New York City's Prospect Park. Even on a bitterly cold day, Hubert Brown likes to come and feed them. That is so gentle, and they've been here from babies, so it's beautiful. The state's Department of Conservation sees the birds differently. It says they destroy aquatic vegetation and displace native wildlife. It's become such a concern, the DEC has proposed virtually eliminating the species, about 2,200 swans in total, over the next 10 years. Mute swans, if they were to establish themselves in large numbers in upstate lakes, could become a problem that we will regret not having dealt with. Under the proposal, the birds would either be shot or captured and gassed. Eggs would be oiled, a move that prevents them from hatching. Mute swans are not native New Yorkers. They were first brought to this country in the late 1800s by wealthy landowners. But in the last 30 years, their population has tripled, in part because they are so popular. The plan, which would allow private landowners to keep the birds, has the support of many conservationists and bird watchers. Still, many park goers and animal rights activists like David Karopkin are horrified. His online petition to save the birds has received more than 24,000 signatures. We're tired of seeing animals targeted because people feel that they're a nuisance or pose some kind of an inconvenience. And uh, if uh, they're able to, to kill the mute swans in New York State, uh, no urban wildlife will be safe. The DEC will consider public concerns before deciding if the plan flies. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, New York.